It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere, Everywhere you go. I don't know the words. <laughs> Take a look at the five and ten. It's uh-huh. glistening once, once again. again. With candy canes <laughs> and silver lanes aglow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Soon Hello, the we're live. Will toll. Hey, Professor Spirit and Glow Matt and Alyssa and Harley Oliver and Chelsea and Sam and Nikki. Wow, you guys. Hello. And the prettiest thing, <laughs> the sight you'll see is the holly that will be on your own front door. Oh, Jamie had a good question. Does Jackson watch our videos? He does. He likes to see himself riding rides. Yeah. Um, he also likes to see Tim riding rides. Emily said, haven't caught a live in a while. Well, we're glad you're here. It is Jackson's birthday today. Um, not the day after Thanksgiving. So John said, isn't Jackson's birthday the day after Thanksgiving? See, Thanksgiving changes. Yeah, because Thanksgiving is on different days, different. It's the third Thursday of every November. But that date changes. So, like, for example, I was born on Thanksgiving, but my birthday is not on Thanksgiving every year. However, right. it was this year. Right. And I feel bad because I feel like your birthday was, we had like a bunch of people over for Thanksgiving. Yeah. And I feel like your birthday was kind of overshadowed. Oh, I mean, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, oh, also, oh, I want to say real quick yes. before we go any further, mm-hmm. we are doing a fundraiser right now for Giving Tuesday. Yes. For Give Kids the World. So today, for Giving Tuesday, one of the donors at Give Kids the World is doubling every donation. So... I haven't seen anything on there being a limit to that, so let's try to yeah. let's try to really get it up there. We have a goal of two thousand dollars, which would be awesome if we could reach it. But yeah, uh, sky's the limit. World is our palm tree. Let's do it. <laughs> um, and so, in case you don't know what Give Kids the World Village does, like who they are, what they do, it is a um, an organization that gives critically ill children a week long vacation here in Orlando, Florida. It gives them free housing so they get to stay at Give Kids the World for the week. They don't have to pay to stay there. Well, and also their families. The kids yeah, aren't and, just going there alone. And their, right, and their families. <laughs> um, the houses are completely accessible. They have everything that they could possibly need based on um, their current medical situation. Yeah. So they can go and they can have a stress f- free time, you know, as, as stress free as possible time for that week. They get to celebrate like every holiday that week, which is really, really um, neat. So they get to kind of pack in a year's worth of celebrations into seven days. Right. So they get Halloween, Christmas. They get to celebrate Mayor Clayton's birthday, but Mayor Clayton gives them birthday presents, which right. is pretty cool. They get to have, there's like an ice cream Village party. Village Idol. Oh, yeah. They have a, they like, do, a like a talent, talent show, show kind of. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's really amazing. And if you can't donate and you're local or you're going to be here at some point, you can always look into volunteering as well. Cause that's something that really helps them out. And that's something that they can, what? Well, I want to say this, uh, one of the things that I think is one of the best ways to support an organization. Oh wait, somebody said we're halfway there already. Yeah. We're at $1,600. Wow, you guys, that's amazing. I didn't <laughs> yeah. even see that. Holy cow. Nice work, everybody. That is awesome. So one of the things that's great about charity is the way that you can support an organization is you can talk about that organization. Yeah, so if you if it's not something that you can financially donate to, which we totally understand, it's right before the holidays, um, don't feel you know pressured, but if you can maybe talk to somebody about the organization, if it's something that you wanna share with somebody, or even if, like I said, if you're in town and you can volunteer, that really helps them as well. Um, and it's just really all about the kids, you know, making sure right. that they have just a really fantastic week while they're here in Orlando. Um, And yeah, so I hope that you guys will at least check them out and see what they're all about for yourselves. We have a video where we actually toured the village and it's really just like a moving place to be. Yeah. Just what they do, it really like gives you chills to be there because what they do, they do a lot. They do so much for these kids. Um, We were able to meet some of the kids when we were there last time and that was amazing. Yeah. And, um, I got to hang out with some kids the last time, too. We, yeah, it's it's really just a great place, and I hope that you'll at least check it out and see what they're all about. 
And then we just hit 2,000. Thanks, everybody. Nice you work. Guys, <laughs> I can't believe that. Uh, That's amazing. Oh, I also wanted to say that Give Kids the World also has a policy of not saying no to kids. Oh, so that's something. So they recently, um, within the past couple of years, opened up the Henry Starlight Scoops, which is their on-site like ice cream parlor. So a lot of kids... I don't want to cry. I feel like I'm going to cry. Um, a lot of kids, when they are critically ill, they can't do a lot of things. There are right. certain things that they're told, like, no, you can't do that, unfortunately, because of their medical situation. So, you know, if a kid wakes up and says, I want ice cream for breakfast, they are in the, you know, in the business of saying, yeah, let's have ice cream for breakfast. Let's do right. it. Let's like live it up. Let's do everything you want to do. We will not tell you no. So they opened this ice cream parlor and they do like ice cream parties. And it's, you know what else they have? What? That I'm at some point in my life, I'm going to figure out a way to get this for myself. What? Uh, they have a, a golf cart that drives around the village and just has cookies on it. Like oh, you can yeah, just get cookies. Just <laughs> you out. just walk outside and you're like, oh, there's a golf cart with cookies on it. And they give, yeah, they just give out like it, it. Like like they just want to make sure that these kids are having like the most magical experience they can possibly have. Right. So um, yeah, on to five thousand. I like that, Felicia. Oh, you guys. I feel like. I don't know. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. A, I'm always so excited when you when you guys come and hang out with us because like we don't really announce these live shows. So to have so many people here supporting the channel, supporting this charity that we love um, on such short notice is really amazing. So yeah. that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, um, oh, uh, Emily has a great question. Will this be going on after the live show? So yeah, it will be going on through tomorrow. It, it's a 24 hour what? Yes. Oh, it is this particular fundraiser is going on until tomorrow. It's a 24 hour thing, but they're who I just burped. They're giving Tuesday promotion where somebody, one of their donors is matching is just today, just okay, Tuesday, just for Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. But um, if you would like to donate today, you know, that would be fantastic. If you want to donate tomorrow, any donation helps. Right. Um, so just keep that in mind. There was something else that I was about to say. What? Oh, so as we were saying, today is Jackson's birthday and we originally had this plan where I was working with Give Kids the World and we were going to go oh. and we were going to do this big live stream. Well, we talked about it in one of the vlogs. We said like we have this really big idea that we want to do for Jackson. We're so excited. It's going to be so amazing. So yeah, we were going to do this fundraiser live at Give Kids the World. They invited right. us to like come in. And basically do like, like have an ice cream party yeah for jackson's birthday like to celebrate his birthday at the village while also live streaming and raising you know, money for raising the money for give kid yeah for give kids the world for giving tuesday right but the good news is the village is full yeah they have 800 houses full right like there's there was no room for us to to come and do the um to be there today physically which is great that means that there are so many kids having their their week long vacation granted. Right. So that's amazing. So they, sorry, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, <laughs> no, but no, they no. also have um, Night of a Million Lights happening at Island H two O. Yes. So like, and the staff is just like you know, it's just a few people. Yeah. So like, they're, and it's a they're lot really of volunteer work as well. Yeah. Uh, which is something we haven't done yet. We didn't get the chance to go to Night of a Million Lights this year because the first night was when we were on our cruise. Well, the first night, I think, was during the hurricane, wasn't it? Was, it? So they it was supposed they, to be. Yeah, they, they pushed it back. It, yeah. yeah. So we, we have tickets to go. We're going to go with the family, but it won't be for later until right. later. But uh, but yeah, so, um, <laughs> so unfortunately, <coughs> we couldn't celebrate his birthday at Give, Give Kids the World, but... Fortunately, it's for a really great reason. It's because they were granting so many kids their week-long vacations that they just didn't have the space for us. Um, so we wanted to just hop on and do a live stream to talk about them. Anyway, <laughs> so but we be, we will be back um, at some point. Uh, somebody said cryptid. Where was it? I saw it. Something. They said, "Can I donate tomorrow after I get paid?" Sure. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, cryptid colors. There it is. You can actually donate anytime. Like you don't have to go through our fundraiser page. You can donate to their just their actual um, website if you would like yeah. to do it that way too. It's just today because it's um, Giving Tuesday. Yeah, they have a donor that's going to match all donations today only. Right. So that's why today was kind of like such a big deal. But um, the I mean donations any day of the week are going to help those kids. So. Oh, are we headed to the Christmas party tonight? Not tonight. We actually no. missed our chance. 
I know. <laughs> to buy a ticket for another Christmas party. So we went on the very first night. We had a great time. Um, I saw a lot of people saying that they didn't have a great time just on social media, but we had a blast. It was a lot of fun for us. But um, we were we were planning on going back and buying tickets for a day that wasn't so rainy. And then it sold out. I mean, it sold out. Like yeah. it, it, You cannot get a ticket. Real quick. What? Not to change the subject, but Ashlyn wants to know if I've watched Wednesday yet. Oh, you have. And I am so into Wednesday. Yeah. The show, Wednesday. How about yeah. Wednesday Adams? <laughs> yeah. I'm not just into the day of the week. I love Wednesdays. <laughs> oh, man. Wednesdays. Hump day. Oh, Martha said this is Jackson's last only child birthday. That's true. So we, just to give you guys, we did sell it. We are, we are still currently celebrating Jackson's birthday. Today is his birthday. He's three years old today. We let him pick everything that he wanted to do today. Um, and that video will be up tomorrow, maybe? At some point. Yeah, it'll be up at some point, but um, he's napping right now. So we just wanted to hop on and do a live show while he was asleep. But and then uh, we have more stuff for him once he wakes up. Yeah, we're so excited because he um, he asked for things this year. Like there were things last year, you know, he was a smaller, like he didn't. He was a little, little man. Just a little guy. And he <laughs> couldn't say like exactly what he wanted. But this year he could say, this is what I want for my birthday. Right. So we were able to like really get him the things that he wanted, but he picked the whole day. Yeah. He did, he, like he got, he picked everything we did today, um, which was so exciting. It was like really fun to let him pick the day. Yeah, so, it was good. How is Jackson 3 already? I know, that's what the lover that's of music said. It's crazy, like it happens so quick. It's a uh, time. Yeah. You know? It, ha- it goes by so, so fast. Um, oh, Jimmy Allen is gonna perform at the Rockefeller Christmas tree lighting tomorrow. Oh, how exciting. I can't exciting. keep up with everything that he's doing. He's do he does he's like doing so much. I know. He texted me the other day and he's like, I watched your Christmas party video. We can't wait to see you guys around Christmas and I was like, All right, let me know and he never said anything. So um, <laughs> well hopefully, yeah. I know he's busy. He's right? like yeah. <laughs> Um Three is really fun. I'm excited for him to be three. Like he has his little personality. He's he's very like opinionated. He's got a really like a really strong personality, which is um, it's cool. It's cool to see him like be his own person. Real quick, so, well, Andrew Freehand says three is the perfect age for Transformers rescue bots. Wink, nudge. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, is that are you like giving us an idea for his birthday gifts? Oh, or are you a Transformer rescue bot? <laughs> are you a transformer <laughs> did you guys watch the uh the guardian i know you didn't but the guardians oh. of the galaxy holiday special where where drax was like super angry at go bots what are go bots they're like knockoff transformers why i don't was know he, if they're how, how why was how does he even know what that is uh, apparently a go bot attacked his cousin or something like that that's weird yeah so he's holding <laughs> a grudge against them Oh, Amber said, I was at the Emporium when you guys announced Jackson's birth. I can't believe he's three. I can't either. Um, I haven't managed I haven't managed to catch a live show in like five years. Whoa, Whoa. spear change. They, I like that. It's kind of like spear change, but it's spear change. Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming. We're happy you're here today. Um, was Kevin Bacon in it? He was. What? <laughs> he, he's... It was a very big part of the, of the show. Here's my complaint. Okay. I know. I'm complaining. Uh-huh. But it came out on Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. right? Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Okay. The very next day oh. at Epcot. I think you talked about this in that video. They put out Guardians of the Galaxy holiday remix yeah. on the ride. They weren't anything, nothing to do with each other. No, I thought Disney was all about synergy. A lot of people were saying that it just really felt like a last minute, like a last minute thing. They announced it so long ago. How could it have been last minute? I don't know. I, I, I didn't watch it yet. I gotta watch it. So was Ryan Gosling in it? Some, (laughs) some people were saying, um, they were asking about the nursery furniture, which we did have a little bit of a, um, an update on that because we were going to talk about like doing our nursery like we were going to do the nursery stuff in a vlog like in a home vlog and um they lost it or what happened no it's just taken forever to get here i think what happened was i ordered it from a place like a small business i don't think it's a small business the place that i ordered it from is a small business i thought you ordered it from the company that sends it to target no yeah 
the place that the thing that we got isn't sold at Target. But it's that same. Yeah. What's the name no. of the What's the name of the brand? Uh, there is a such and such by Carter's, and that's the one that's sold at Target. No, the the name of the brand is like it starts with a D. It starts with a D. Yeah, we ordered it from that company. No, we ordered it from a company called Cuddlebugs. Oh. Yeah. I could have sworn that we ordered it literally on the website of the company. No. What's the name of the set? The name of the set is Da Vinci. Yeah, Da Vinci. That's like the the brand that sold at Target. Da Vinci Carter, like their Da Vinci X Carter. Oh. Is sold at Target. Okay. That's their. But when we when we bought it, I thought we brand. bought it from the Da Vinci no, I, website. No, I bought it from a, a place in Oregon because oh. they're the only ones that said. We have it in stock. Okay. You can order it now. Or they said that they could pre-order it. And then... Well, anyway, long story short, we ordered it from this company. And then we were like, hey, we were supposed to get this like two weeks ago. <laughs> um, well, it, I guess it shipped out on the 17th. Yeah. And... Well, it we said the 7th. We were charged on the 7th. Yeah, that's when I put the order in. But uh, that was like for okay. the pre-order. Anyway, I know. Sorry. This is like boring, boring stuff. But... We uh, do not have it yet. Long oh, story we're at short, three thousand dollars. Wow, you that's guys! Exciting. If we hit five thousand dollars, that I, means can we that change they'll. It? It, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Well, I like, know, but can we change it? Do you want me to change the goal? Yeah. Are you allowed to? I think we can do whatever we want to. Um. Oh, Mark. Mark's here, watching from a plane. A plane. Where are you going? You're. I feel like you're always somewhere. Let's see. What do you want me to change it to? Five thousand. Yeah. Let's just see. Let's 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 try to see what we can do. Um, what is the best public cake? Did it change? Did it? It changed here. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. What is the best Publix cake for first timers? What? So my favorite Publix cake, I don't know if it's the best for first timers, but it's the Chantilly cake. Oh, that's really good. It's so delicious. It's so soft and airy and light. And then it has these delicious like fresh fruit on top. And then it has like strawberry in the middle yeah it's, it's just really really good really good oh amanda said it changed but if you get five thousand tim will do a dance <laughs> was that uh, what somebody said I don't, what? you can't read it and it sounds like you're saying it no i'm not gonna call myself tim <laughs> uh, you should have read it um oh man but quick Anybody that's been to a Publix, mm -hmm. what's the best thing at Publix that's like Publix brand that's not a pub sub? For me, it's the Greenwise brownies. Oh, okay. Those are so good. They are really good. Like you get four in a pack and you eat all four in one sitting. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> and, um, but I didn't ever think that Oh, uh, pu Publix cake was... That cake is so good. No, I know that Chantilly cake is good, but yeah. it wasn't something that I was like, mmm, Publix cake. I'm going to go out and get one of those. Um, Somebody said... Key really lime quick. pie, Publix cookies. Oh, yeah. Chocolate oh, chip yeah, cookies. The cookies. They're oh, lemonade. Yeah. The okay. lemonade is pretty good. Um, Somebody said, Mackenzie said, how did you feel about Bob Iger coming back to the company? Watch our last live stream. That's like all we talked about in our last live stream. It was like an hour long of us talking about Bob Iger. So um, if you want to watch that. Publix moosh tracks frozen yogurt. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, frozen yogurt. Okay. The theme park dad, Nick. Nick says baked Mardi Gras wings. What is that? What? I Somebody said, wait, okay, go ahead. I, well, I don't even know what that is. I'm so confused. Yeah, I've never heard that. Carrot cake. Ooh, raspberry elegance cake. What a name. I've seen pictures of that on the website, and it does look good. Publix carrot cake is phenomenal. Okay. What was, there was something Ooh. up here. Favorite winter park restaurant. Which winter park? Winter park. Winter park is so big. Give me Favorite a, give me Winter a Park code. restaurant. Give me a zip code. <laughs> <laughs> um, ooh, I don't know. Winter Park restaurant. Where's the last time that we ate in Winter Park? I Probably feel like when you gave birth. But that didn't even count. All I wanted was mellow mushroom after I gave yeah. birth, and I couldn't. Did mellow I get it? Yeah, you did. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. But all that's all I wanted was pizza. Um, ooh, the deli buffalo chicken dip. I gotta try it. The last live is on is not on your channel anymore, at least not for me. So if you go to the, there's two sections. There's videos, which are like edited vlogs. And then there's live, which is like the live shows. But you have to click on the live to see the live videos, which I know it seems they should just have them all in order. Right. But they don't. I don't know why. Uh, Publix has good challah bread. Ooh. 
Publix mango key lime pie. This is just a Publix. We need to get back to, to <laughs> donating. We're just, just talking about, about Publix. Um, you went somewhere in Winter Park after your maternity shoot. Hawkers or something? Oh, okay. So the thing about Hawkers, it is really good. It's it's. I don't think it's in Winter Park, though. I think it's in. It's yeah, on Mills. It would be considered Winter Park. Is it? That's hu- Winter Park is huge. I know. That's why I said, give me a zip I guess code. That's like saying, <laughs> give me a what's, district. What's the best place in Orlando? Yeah, because it's such a big place. Orlando could take you forty-five minutes to drive across. Yeah, it's hu- it really is big. Like so, when people say they live in Orlando, it's like that could mean anything. Right? That could literally mean anything. And that's just Orlando proper. But everybody in the towns around Orlando just says they live in Orlando. Right. Yeah. So like. But also, so we went to Hawkers um, after the maternity shoot. And it was good. However, after the t- pandemic, their menu changed like quite a bit. So they took it, it really they like shrunk their menu down, which I understand a lot of restaurants did that. But also that particular Hawkers, I feel like is not as good as it used to be. Okay. And I don't know why. The not service as is great. Good as it once like, was. <laughs> the service is good. The servers are great. The managers are great. But I don't know what it is about the the food isn't the same to me. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why. I still want to go there every time that we're in that area, but I, it, it has been better in the past. Oh, no. That's what everybody's telling me to do is the Wednesday dance. What is that? That's the dance that, what's her name? What's her name? Wednesday? Yeah, what's her name? Like the girl in the new show? Yeah. Jenna Ortega? She made up a dance. She choreographed a dance. Oh, what is it? Uh, show me. No, I, I can't. <laughs> it has a lot of like, uh, she does like the salsa stuff, this whole thing. Oh, right? okay. And then she does like these moves from like the the sixties. Okay. You know, like the mashed potato and stuff. And then yeah. she does she does like this squid thing with her arms like this. Oh, okay. Which was kind of fun. But what's then, the dance? For? Why is she doing it? Because she's at like the it's called the Raven. Okay. It's their their high school dance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta watch it. I haven't seen it. Yeah. I was so during the holiday week they we got free showtime. It was like they you know how they just like let you have channels you don't have for like the holiday and yeah. then they take it away. And they want you to, to <laughs> they, buy it. Right. They, and I do, I wanna buy it so bad because we don't currently we currently do not have showtime and I binged all of Yellow Jackets and now I'm like when is season two coming out? <laughs> like, now, is that Christina Ricci? She is in it, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's fan of Christina Ricci. Well, she's like her character is pretty scary like she's probably a psychopath actually <laughs> but um i really like i need to know they didn't I think that's her like mo i think she's plays them like well she's good at it yeah but yeah. she there are so many questions that were unanswered Ooh. so like the end of uh lost like the end of lost <laughs> no lovecraft country yeah so many things but they're gonna have a season two though of they, Lovecraft Country? No, no, no. Of Yellow Jackets. Oh, like, for I was sure. about to get excited. Yeah. I'm going to find Jordan Peele and be like... What? I'm so confused. Mark said, I heard Yellow Jackets is good. Have you not watched it? That seems like it would be right up your alley. Well, I feel like we watch the same shows because you'll tweet about like Big Sky and I'm like, oh, I'm watching Big Sky. Although I didn't watch this last season. I couldn't get into it. Um, and there was something else you were watching and I'm like, oh, I'm watching that. <laughs> Wine Bar George or Boathouse? I think personally Wine Bar George. Right? I think it depends on what you're in the mood for. I yeah. think Wine Bar George is good, yeah. but they don't have like their menu's a lot Yacht Rock. S- no, that's true. And their menu is a lot smaller than, than uh, Boathouse. Boathouse. So if you're trying to like appease a lot of people, I think Boathouse is a good choice. And you can sit on the water, which is beautiful. Um, but I just, I love the quality of the food. And they have really great wines and other drinks at, at Wine Bar George. Okay, go ahead. Somebody, uh, Kako Mochi says, Aloha from Hawaii, leaving for Orlando today. Are you, which island are you on? Oh my gosh, yeah, we saw that the big island erupted. Here's my question. Well, I hope everybody's okay. Oh, 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 let's go back to this. Okay. Uh, when I read it, it was like for the first time since 1984. Right. But like, didn't it just erupt like a, two years ago and like I, take out a bunch of roads and stuff? Was that the big island? Yeah, that was on Big Island. Are you sure? That's the only active volcano. Well, maybe maybe the one that erupted is make is now un, well, inactive. Maybe they don't count it because it was a different caldera. Well, ma- like a side vent. Maybe we should look it up. Okay. My sister noped out of boathouse. What, what does that, that mean? What What does that mean? Oh, oh went to there. Wine Bar Georgia. It was a huge disappointment. <gasps> oh no! What, oh, there are two active volcanoes. Okay. I wonder why it was a big disappointment. Oh, okay. Right? So they're on Oahu. Oh, okay. That so makes now, sense. So now, let me ask you this. Oh, Kilauea erupted, erupted, and this is Mauna Loa. 
Okay, but let me ask you this. How affected was Oahu by this um, eruption? I don't think it was. Yeah, that's a good question. Well, I just wonder, like, for people coming in on planes, because do you remember? So I back back when the um, the volcano erupted in... Oh, she got sick. Norway? Was it Norway? No, it wasn't Norway. Where it was, was Iceland? Really it was in one. Iceland. Yeah, and it like and it, it people were stranded in Orlando because the planes couldn't fly. Like the, the there was ash yeah, there was so much ash. They were stuck here. Like I had people, I had clients who I worked in retail, but I had clients who um, were stuck here for three weeks. Right, and they were just like they they nothing like they they just had to spend their money to stay here for three weeks because they could not get back home. That's wild. Yeah, so I just wonder how is it affecting Oahu. Uh, somebody said that they another person oh, said they that said, it was a huge disappointment for Wine Bar George too. Flights canceled and possibly is it fog? Maybe you're saying to come. What what was wrong with wine? No to Wine Bar George. Really? There is fog. What's fog? Volcanic like ash fog. Volcanic. Is that like volcanic so. fog? That makes sense. I don't know. So we've always had really great. Um, Really great. At, speaking of Wine Bar George, really quick. We've always had really great food there. The service has been really great. What? Somebody called the real Bob JPEG says, you all hiring? I'm looking for a job. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, Zach is in here. Hi, Zach. Boathouse is really great. I do agree with you. Vog is volcanic fog. Okay. Okay. So wait. Yeah, we've always had good experiences at Wine Bar George. Really? See, and I've gone, like, when we go, obviously they know who Tim is. Um, and so I do understand that we might get, like, a different kind of treatment. Oh, is he getting up? Because they know who Tim is. But I've gone before without Tim, and they don't know who I am. <laughs> and, like, I've had a really great time. The food has been really great. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I feel so, like, I'm sorry that you didn't have a good time. Um, if If you, if you... I guess I would go to Boathouse then. Hmm, I don't know. What is the thing you're looking forward to most for Christmas? Um, the thing I'm looking forward to most for Christmas, I think, is just spending the time with Jackson. Like, just having... I want to... Like, every minute that we have until... So, I'm, I'm due in March. So, like, every minute that we have until March, I just want to make sure that Jackson gets like as much time as possible with us. And I want to make sure that he, um, I don't know, that he has, uh, sorry, he's waking up right now. So I'm looking at the monitor. I just want to make sure that he has um, a lot of time with us. And, you know, I've heard lots of stories about how when, when the baby comes that the older sibling can have a hard time. And I don't know if he will because he's been so excited about the baby. Like he loves talking to my belly. He loves feeling my belly. And like, you know, when the baby kicks and stuff, he likes listening to my belly. He loves to talk about the baby and about like how the baby's coming. And he's very, um, he seems very excited. So I just, I don't think that he'll feel the same as some other people are saying that he might, but I don't know. So I just want to make sure that he's getting as much like undivided attention and like one-on-one -on -one time with us. So that's what I'm most excited for for Christmas is just to spend it with him. Oh, that's so nice. Hagen said, I want to say that you and Tim heal my inner child with how you raised Jackson. Thank you. That's really nice. I feel like you definitely... I think that for me specifically, like I want to make sure that I'm giving him a different childhood than I had. And I think that he's definitely getting that. And it makes me um, really happy to know that he's such a happy kid. Hello. Did you have a good nap? <laughs> hey, buddy. How was your nap? Good. Did you have any dreams? Hello. Oh. Oh, don't move it too much, buddy, because it's loud on their end, okay? Did you wake up, like, just so excited? Yeah. Because what time is it? What's today? You want to tell everybody what today is? Yeah. What is it? My birthday. Your birthday? How old are you? Three. Three. <laughs> Oh, everybody's... What? 
Can I open my present? You can open your presents. We told him that he could open his presents after he had his nap because I wanted to make sure that he got a nap because we did so much this morning and I know that you needed a nap. Everybody says happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jackson. Oh, where are you going? You want to get down? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. There's a table in the way. Got to be careful. Can I open some presents? You absolutely mm-hmm. oh, can. Showing off your booty butt. <laughs> oh, no. You can open a pre- You Should we open one live with you guys? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? You want me to go get you one? Yeah. Okay, I'll go get one. Which one are you going to get? The little one. The one that came yesterday? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to get a big one. You're going to open your big one, we'll too. Big yeah, one, but we'll do that, we'll do that right um, not live on camera. Okay. Still waking up, buddy. Yeah, you're still yawning. <laughs> Say, if we reach $5,000, we'll open up all the gifts on... No, just No. <laughs> all right, buddy, hold on. I'll be right back. Um, What is your favorite classic Christmas movie? Mine, this is from Ava. Mine is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I'm getting a universal annual pass and was wondering if you had any inside tips. Uh, no inside tips, really, for... Hey, buddy, don't, don't play with those, okay? Can you come over here, please? I'm just looking. You're just looking? Okay. Um, no inside tips, really, but... Bye-bye. Um, hold on, you gotta wait for Daddy. Are, are you gonna wait for Daddy? He's bringing your present. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you wanna sit in Daddy's chair? Ooh, your foot okay? Ooh, I, I'll hold it straight for you. Um, that's exciting that you're getting an annual pass. That That's fun. Uh, my favorite Christmas movie? I don't know if I have one. I'm not really sure. But Tim was telling me that they did make a Grinch horror movie, so I'm excited to watch that um, trailer. You want to open it? It's called The Mean One. Okay, come up here with me. Come sit on somebody's lap. Yeah, let's see. What is it? Let's check. Let's check. So this is something that you were specifically excited about getting. Yes. Um, Carly said, are there any more Tim and Adam videos coming up? Oh. Not... Nothing planned yet, but I need to ask him about something. Oh. Oh, Lego! <laughs> He's been so excited about Tim's Lego, the one that's behind me, the Stranger Things one. That I haven't finished yet. Right? And so we are like, what? we got to get you your own Lego. What is it? Who is it? Lego. But who, who is, who's on it? Right here. Who's out? Who's on it? Thank you. Who? Who did you say thank you? <laughs> You're oh, welcome. welcome. What's this right here? You it says no babies. It, it says, says no babies. babies. This. Who's that? Mickey. Mickey. Yeah. So this is Mickey Mouse's per- propeller plane. And this is um, like a little set for you to do. It's kind of like, you know, they're smaller than your Duplos. So they're for big boys. But it's not a big, big set. Right, this is his very first Lego set. Whoa, buddy. Yeah, we're gonna put it together together. Oh, Natalia has a good question, Jackson. What's better, mini golf or shuffleboard? Shuffleboard. Shuffleboard? Yeah. What? Better than mini golf? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you so excited? Are you so excited for your Legos? You love it? Yeah. <laughs> How do you do it? Wow, buddy. Um, you just open it like that. Oh my gosh, Kirky said, just wait until he's asking for the Eiffel Tower Lego. I saw a picture of that, like next to a person. It's Ooh. huge. Yeah, that thing is it's gigantic. It's so big. Oh, the best hotel to stay at between Disney and Universal. Hmm. You open it. I gotta open this one first right here, buddy, okay? Let's move this stuff out of the way. He, can, You're so excited, buddy. I love that. You love that? I feel like we don't have to do any more presents today. This is like... Okay. <laughs> can you find this piece right here? Mm-hmm. Those are Mickey's pile. legs. Here, let me move this out of the way yeah. for you. Okay. And then this piece and this piece. So while they're building... This piece? No, look. Right here. Oh, oh it looks like his shirt. While they're building... Um, this one? No, look. Does this look like this? What does it look like? <laughs> <laughs> does this does this one right here look like this one? Um, 
Oh, Mark said, how did you first meet Adam? So Adam actually contacted us. And yeah. we we knew who he was. We watched his videos, but he contacted us and was like, "Do you want to go to Cast Connections?" No, was it Cast Connections? It was the place that closed. No, it was called. Put it on the other way, buddy. What was it called? It was it closed. It was called Theme Park Connections, right? Maybe it was called Theme Park Connections. Yeah, because it was like they wanted it to sound like Cast Connections. Yeah, and so it was basically this place that you could go and you could buy like ride vehicles or like just things from Disney, but you didn't have to be a cast right, member to buy them. This? And um, he Where's was like, "Come and come, let's do Where's a video." Um, here, we'll do a video together. And so we just kind of became friends with him like from that day forward. And then we went and visited him yeah. in California. We stayed with him, and um, you know, we like. We traveled with him. We went to Kings Island with him, and then to the Noah the Noah's Ark thing <laughs> with him, and with with um, Jacob the carpetbagger too. He was there, and then um, yeah, we just stayed friends. He's a good guy. Like we, they have a lot of fun. Yeah, I have a lot of fun too. But usually when they go somewhere together, I'm usually with Jackson, so I don't get to hang out with him as you much. You want to show them what you did? Oh yeah, what'd you build? Hold it up. What is it, bud? Is it, is it just banging? Show it right here. Oh, yeah. Is show it right there. Up here. Oh, you have to show it to the big camera. There it is. Built Mickey. Mickey Mouse. All right. You want to do the next thing? Will you All guys right. ever do a vlog on going to the Disney thrift stores? So we went to, we did one where we went to this place in Sanford, which is a little town like north of Orlando that we love. And they had, it was not a, specifically a Disney thrift store, but they had a lot of Disney stuff. Just because oh, in... This. In uh, Orlando, there tends to be a lot of just Disney stuff that gets thrifted. You see this right here? But yeah. You see that? There were lots of old things from Disney, like old Disney telephones yeah. and... This one? Oh, Tony said, almost time to dance because we're at 4K. Oh, no. <laughs> and then this one? This one. The stick. You see the gray stick? Yeah. Does Jackson right remember there. Bandit? I don't know. Do you remember Bandit? You remember Brother Bandit? Yeah. Well, who is Brother Bandit? I don't like Yep. I don't know if he really does. He's seen pictures of him. And now, do you see this green flag? Yeah. You okay, buddy? You got to go to the bathroom? No. You sure? Are you just yeah. getting excited about your Legos? Yeah. Oh. Slide it on the top. Um, oh, Teresa said, first time we're to Disneyland, how many days for each park there? Can you do both in one day? I feel like... Uh, I wouldn't do them both in one day. I'm sure somebody could, but there's a lot to do at Disneyland. Yeah. Oh, good job. Oh, no, down. Flip oh the other close, way. yeah. Yep. Put it in there. Did you do it? Good job, buddy. I would say two... For me personally, I would say three days at Disneyland, two days at DCA. Yeah. That would be like my ideal... That's a nice, easy... Yeah. Lots... But if you can't do that, at least one day at each park. Okay, now we need to find this oh, one. Oh, Allie says your hair looks extra sleek today. Yeah, this and one. this one. Put it right in the middle. Oh, don't do both. It's a lot of walking. Says finding... Finding... Giseco? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm sorry. But it is a lot of walking. I will, I will agree. Um... Will you ever go to Disneyland Paris in the future? Good yeah, job. we had plans to go and then the pandemic happened. So obviously, right. you know, that kind of changed our plans. And now I can't travel um, internationally, I don't think, for right probably not for another year, I would say. So um, I don't know. I don't know when we'll do that, right. but I would like to do it. It is on my list. I've seen so many people like just this. go to Paris and just have the best time. And I want to do that. I want to be I those people. Put it on the other side. Oh, Alyssa says you should try out Hunger Street Tacos in Orlando. They have a great taco, oh. a big vegan menu with hibiscus flower tacos. Hibiscus flower tacos. Push it all the way down. Oh, uh, that sounds amazing. I definitely want to go there. Buddy. And we'll then, put this one on top. oh, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. She says, are you going to the Candlelight Processional this year? We definitely have plans to go for sure. Um, also, I got your message on Instagram and I will message you back. I'm not sure if... Good job, um, buddy. I got to message you back, though. But. You okay, bud? Are you okay? Yeah. Is You're this not hurting okay? you right here? You want me to you sit just on both my legs, not one of my legs? 
like this. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, okay, sorry. Now we need to find this one. Um, John said, have you right found here. a family car? We have put a deposit down on a car, and it's, um, right we'll see. There. We'll see if we, they haven't delivered them, so we're not sure. But we have put a, did we tell them the one that we did? I think so. We put a deposit down on the Rivian. Yeah. So we'll see. We've seen them on the road, and they look great. And then this. <laughs> right on the front there. <laughs> um, Allison said, do you guys remember the really scary alien terror ride in Disney that they had in the early 2000s? Yeah, I do. Yeah, extraterrestrial. Yeah. Um, I do remember it. Did you do it? Oh, no. <laughs> Let me know if you need my help. What? Here we go. Whoa. Good job, buddy. All right. Now... Ooh, DJ says, what brand or product do you use for your hair? This it one. always looks so nice. Greetings from the Netherlands. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah. This? This? Yeah, that one. It goes right here. I use, uh-oh. Uh, oh, no. Hold on, I'll get it, buddy. I use um, Bumble and Bumble brand stuff. I use hair clay, and then I use their right hairspray. What's the hairspray right called? There. Oh, it's right called... Here. um. I don't purple know what it's the, called. It's called... It's uh, the purple. Purple, the purple can. one, yeah. Purple the, can. The purple one. <laughs> um, oh, try again. Oh, Rivian had a oh. recall already? On what? Yeah, I mean, everybody has a recall. Oh. Literally every company has a recall. Oh, no. Kelly, uh, sorry, Jody said, I'm having severe back issues and waiting for an MRI. I need it to be fixed before a cruise in January. I hope that you can get it checked out and figure it out. It's definitely... Um, I feel like you could, you could still have fun on, fun on a cruise, but you need to be more mobile, I think on, on cruises. So I hope that you do get it, um, figured out, especially like with a, with a back issue. So I'm sorry to hear that. That does not sound fun. Good Good job, buddy. All right. Now we need this piece and this piece. Have you asked Jackson what he thinks the baby? No, (laughs) I can't read it out loud because then he'll answer. Yep. <laughs> um, somebody right said that Peter and Kitra just donated. Oh. I didn't see. I can't see all the names, but thank you guys. Um, that's amazing. We like. We love them. Right the we top. love Give Kids the World. So thank you. This one. We really appreciate it. No, no. Put this one on top. Mackenzie oh, said, one. "Really random, but in 2018, Tim walked right past me at Epcot, and I didn't know until I was home and saw the video. No, oh, no. I still can't get over it. I'm sorry. Hi." No, the other way, buddy. This side goes on there. Oh, Chuckster's Adventure right says, no, no, look. is the is the opening theme artwork in the vlogs going to change to add Jackson and the new baby? So right on top here. it's something that I'm kind of going back and forth with. I definitely want to change the artwork because it doesn't make right. sense to have the dogs in the opening um, little graphic anymore. It's just, it's been yeah. such a long time. I feel like right new there. viewers don't know who they are and... I think for me, it was kind of like a selfish thing to not change it because I don't want to remove them. I don't want, it feels right. like I'm like permanently removing them. Good job, them. buddy. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like they're all over our house. We have pictures of them everywhere. We have paintings of them. We have their- you made a little gas pump. <gasps> you made a little Mickey gas pump? This for one? Plane? And this one. But it still, Let's it feels- it goes right in there. I don't know. It feels weird to take them away. So, um- but yeah, we are going to be changing the, the logo, definitely. I don't know if the babies will be in it, though. And then I'm not sure. This one? On these two back here. So what I was thinking was, Allie said, definitely keep the puppies in the logo just to refresh. I don't want the logo to be too jumbled. Like, I think having us and the baby... Do you need to go to the bathroom? No, no, no. We can, are you, we can are pause you... this and go to the bathroom. I don't right? need to. I just don't. Okay. Right. So what I was thinking this was right a here, way buddy? to incorporate the dogs is that it would still be a circle, but I might have like two Put right two here. rings like as the outside of the circle, which would be like their halos, if that makes sense. So right here. Oh, no. <laughs> Dazed and Confused says babies. So by babies, I mean the baby and Jackson. Jackson is still a baby to right me. Here, buddy. Here, I'm going to put this one on. OK. Um. Will there be another tracker baby moon? Yes, there is going to be a baby moon. And we actually are going super soon because I can't travel past a certain date. And I want to make sure that I get that in. Um, Now put it right here. 
Yeah, so we are we are leaving actually super soon for that. Right there. Um, is Jackson excited for your for the baby brother? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. Has has Jackson felt the baby move? So I feel like he has, but he didn't know what was what it was. Over here, buddy. the baby moves all the time. He's so active, like he is constantly kicking around in there. So. No, no, sideways like this. Yep, just on these two back here. Um, the right there. Arriving at Disney on Sunday, so would love to tell the viewers right now it's time to pay the price. If we ever, like, if we see you in the parks and you want to do the outro, just come up and ask us. Like, we would absolutely mm -hmm. love that. But it's hard for us to plan to meet anybody job, um, to do it, like, on a specific day or a specific time. We just can't. Um, especially right now with our schedule being so hectic, it's just hard to do that. But if we see you in the park, absolutely, like just you Come know, let right us there. know, and we'll we'll definitely definitely do it. Um, Aaron said, right "When there. is the next cruise for you guys?" So the next cruise isn't going to be for a long time because yeah. we have, we have to wait for the baby to be six months yeah. old. Right so there. we've got a while, which is yeah. why we did those cruises so close together because we were trying to get them in before I couldn't cruise anymore. Um, the baby moon is not local, no, yeah. You're doing good, buddy. Keep going. Yes. Just in a straight line. Oh, Liz said, mm -hmm. my little dude is 31 months today. I feel right like here. Jackson and him would be besties. Let me ask you this, um, which I love that. Thank you. I think that's very cute. And happy 31 months. When do you stop using months? Oh, I've already stopped. Yeah. I feel like I just said he was two and a half, like, for the longest time. Yeah, until he was, until yesterday. Yeah, basically. We're at four thousand four hundred dollars, you guys, for um, this one. For give kids right the world. Here. Sorry, I was trying to read. Oh, the Kia Telluride is a great car. Is that what your brother drives? Uh, I don't know. He, he drives a Hyundai. Oh, but it's like I think it's the same car, but just a you Hyundai. See it? Turn it the other yeah. way. Yeah. Twenty. Kelly yep, said twenty six thousand twenty six hundred and forty eight months. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jennifer said, "What's the most memorable trip you've taken?" The most memorable trip, I feel like, honestly, was Tokyo for me. Yeah. But Alani, oh, like Hawaii, that. had a special place okay. in my heart. Um, I don't know. Anna Maria is always, like, really memorable for me. That's why we go so much. But I don't know. That's hard. Put That's a hard right one. Because they're all, they're all special for, like, yep. different reasons, you know? Um, ooh, so Mango Martiniful said, will you be doing more table service reviews now that you're eating indoors? Yes. We yes. actually did one today. That's true. Yeah, we did one today. So that'll be out soon. That's all, oh, no. Oh, there you go. Good job. Do you guys like Tony's? So Tim went to Tony's with our friend Bart back a few years ago before the right, pandemic. Yeah. Like this. And I feel like you guys this. didn't love it. I feel like I don't remember. We'll have to go yeah. back. Oh. Um, Nikki said that Tokyo and Hawaii are on our list to visit. Here you go. You should Good totally job, go. Buddy. Like they're it, they're both amazing. Sorry, I had to get rid of a spam on our charity live stream. <laughs> um, Evan says, "Has Jackson ridden Ratatouille?" He did. We went for the pass holder preview, and he loved it. Okay, this one. Oh, Later. Caroline says, stop counting months after 36 way. months, age three. Developmentally speaking, up to age three is vastly different per Forward month. Okay, more. that makes sense. There you go. Oh, no. Andrew said it's Tony's microwave surprise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. But Mango Full Martini says, Tony's is one of our favorites. We don't understand the here, hate. And, and that's, I think that's what it, like, food is so subjective. Right? All these people are saying that they didn't have a good time at. Yeah. This one, too, on this side. Um. Ooh. Any. Hey. This what one. Is it? Any tube says, "What do you order at First this Watch?" One. So I love the Bacado omelet, which is bacon and avocado and cheese, and then it's topped with sour cream and salsa, and it's so good. It is delicious. Allison said, "I accidentally donated anonymously. This I hope it there. wasn't registered as spam. It's not. It just pops up and says anonymous. This way, um, like this. definitely not spam. Thank you for the donation. I don't know." Oh. oh no when i said spam that was like this a way? one of those sites that's like come here to date hot moms in your area or something <laughs> like, 
Yep. Um, Let me see. Oh, Mark is taking no, off. Well, have a great flight, Mark. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us. Oh, no. Jody said Tony's is terrible. Is this kind of like Pizza Rizzo? Like everybody yeah. hates Pizza Rizzo until yeah. they go there and then they're like, it's okay. No, no. This other side across from it. Spin it around. Spin it around. So it looks just like this one. First watch waffle. Keep yeah, the waffle is really good there. I don't know. Keep I don't know what they add to it to make it so good, but it's it. it's good. Um, Teresa said, like "How were the crumble course. cookies? Like they this. were so good." Some people were saying that crumble was right um, not good, and I don't I don't understand how they right could not there. like they were so Just good. Down on the blue, there you go. Perfect. Oh no, there's another one. Oh, another one. Yeah. Oh no! Everybody's saying Tony's is terrible. It's down. Yeah. Um. I've never eaten a Tony's, so I don't know. I can't answer that question. Oh, no. Car Carrie Diplov says... Okay, what is happening here? Oh, I don't know. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Did you do it? No, my... something's. Oh, this, I think, is on the trackpad, oh. so it's, like, not working correctly. Oh, no, it's gone. Okay. Okay. Um, but Carrie yeah, Diplov right says here. that you're already getting a hot oh, mom like in your no. area. What? You're already dating a hot mom in your area. Oh, who am I dating? <laughs> what? I thought I was dating somebody. Oh, LB says, you I don't like them because the they fall apart and they're messy. I use a fork to eat my crumble cookies. Up here, so, like yeah, these. I will say that they it's called crumble for a reason, but I, they were this the flavor is so good. Yeah, they were good. What are your thoughts on Gideon's Bakehouse? So Gideon's, I feel like, can't be compared to any other cookie. They're just so different. Um, but they are... Uh, I love the, the like just the story behind oh, I it. I highlighted a comment. Oh, what'd you highlight? That one that was right above the one that was I was trying to get rid of, I think. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, let, hold on one second. Let's let Daddy get one it. One that says, come to England? Come on, England. Oh, no. <laughs> come on, England. How do I... Can you get my plane? I don't know how to do it. I think you have to remove it. Sorry, we don't want to remove it, but I think we have to remove it to get it not highlighted. Did I do it? Oh, no, I pinned it. Oh, no. <laughs> Unpinned. Oh, hold on, buddy. Oh, no, now I got rid of the the, the pinned. Uh, oh, geez. This is turning into a mess. Okay, sorry. We didn't mean to remove you. We just don't know no, how to I, use. I think I, I got rid of the... The, the charity thing at the top. I don't see it. Is it gone for everybody? Oh, wait. Did you? What's next? This one right here. Oh, no. Is it gone? Is it still a charity stream? It's still a charity stream. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, donate link is gone. It ah! is? Oh, no. It's gone? How do I... Can I go up to back up to the very top? Okay, here. Hold on. No, Let's... I can't. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Go back to that, yeah, that other page. Second, okay, here. sorry. We got to figure this out. You Where's got rid my... of the banner. Oh no! What did what did I do that for? Oh shoot! How do I? I said oh shoot! Oh! <laughs> oh no! Let me see if I can edit it, and then I can. Maybe can you change the goal? Will that is that? And videos. Editing? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Oh no! Don't. St I think you're starting it over. No. I think you are. No no no. Okay. Because it's already okay. You ready? No. So I saved that. Okay. Right. See, I didn't. I didn't start it over. Okay. Now I edit it. Uh huh. And then I add to videos. And then I do this. Good job. And I hit save. Can Did I it save? pop back up for everybody or no? Oh no. Still has donate at the bottom. It's still under what the video. Now? Donate no. is still there. I can still see the banner. <laughs> okay, buddy. Caitlin said, right here? Caitlin said, Jackson said, I said, oh, shoot. So what Jackson does is he says, why did you say? He goes, why did you say, oh, shoot? But, oh, but they said these it's back. It's back. Right there. Okay. Right there. Okay, good. Yeah, I think that is where he goes, buddy. Good job. <laughs> Put this one right here. Um, this one? Yeah, right there. Right oh, there. Easy Does It says, kudos to you both on your first okay. turkey. That was honestly yeah. like, I felt so good when the turkey camp came out of the oven and it tasted good and everybody said it was good. And I don't know if they were just being nice and just saying that they, that it was good. Cause they know that we, it was the first time we made one, but, um, push it down. I don't know. I, I felt no, really good about that down. turkey. No, I want to push this okay. Put that one over on this wing. Okay. Right here. 
Oh no. Like what happened? Casper yeah, right said, um, sorry I couldn't donate more. We definitely don't Yep, just right like, there. Like don't feel like you have to donate. Good job, if, buddy. if it's not something that you can do, we definitely don't expect you to do it. But we like to um, you know, just make everybody aware of this charity. So even just talking about it or just going to their website and learning about it helps in in a way that you don't have to give fight you know monetarily so um don't don't feel bad for not being able to donate more or not being able to donate we just um are so appreciative right here. of of you know what? everybody being right here there. so um so yeah what well, oh okay wait so ordinary ventures is here they said what would you like to see disney cruise do differently or new with the disney treasure or that huge cruise ship they just acquired oh did you see what? They took delivery of the first part of the hull of the Disney treasure. Oh, did they? Yeah. Ooh. So they're like, they're building it. But the treasure is just the same as the wish, isn't it? Yeah. So I would I like for them be... to... If it's anything like the dream and the fantasy, they're not very different at all. No. Like there's the, like the fantasy has that extra splash pad and the dream right in place of that splash pad has like a bar area. So I, I feel right like the, brown. the wish and the fantasy aren't going to be different. I, maybe the fantasy wish and the uh, sorry treasure. the wish and the treasure i feel like the wish and the treasure aren't going to be different but maybe the treasure might not have Try hyperspace again. it might have a different lounge well, i think it'll still have hyperspace because i think that that's a popular one uh, people didn't seem to be so excited about it on our last cruise that's true there weren't like lines around outside or anything right um i don't know hmm i think oh do we hit five thousand we that's did what it saying. let me let Thank me refresh you. this page you guys Oh no! Put it forward Ooh, all the way. All I think way that's a here. good one. They said oh, yeah, they want 4, a, ha a haunted 5, mansion lounge. Oh yeah! I would love that. That sounds awesome. All right, right here, buddy. Can you get that? What is it? Oh, we'll get it in just a minute, buddy. Okay, push this one down. You know what I want? Okay, Oops. so back when we did our podcast, like way back when, we did um, we talked I'll about this, this place that I thought was right like there. a fever dream of mine. So there was this place I used to visit my grandma right in there. South Carolina. Right there's there. this place called Track Star. Yeah, flip and it was the other way, though. a restaurant where a robot brought pizza to your table. Like it was kind of like a showbiz or like a Chuck E. Cheese, but it wasn't. It was called Track Star. Okay. And it was this uh -oh. robot guy would bring your food to you on like a track. And uh, I think they should have that where, where you eat right at a, a restaurant, but it's like old old like rides that aren't, aren't at the parks anymore and they just use the old animatronics to deliver the food to your table that would be amazing like an old like a mr toad an old mr would, toad would deliver like your pizza to you like an old old falling apart mr toad like you know what i mean it would just be Put this one right here i don't know i think that'd be really fun <laughs> um right here <laughs> upside upside down flip it over i don't there know if that's go. something that they would ever do mm -hmm. but that's just like a you know that sounds amazing. A blue sky idea, if you will. Oh, blue sky. Of mine. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good what job. What would you do? Uh, if I could, what? What was the question? I missed it. Sorry, I was oh, paying attention. Sorry, to this. they're they're building they're building Lego. Put that right um, on the If front you there, could buddy. have. Put this one right here. A. This um, one right there. Put anything on mm -hmm. the cruise, like or have them do to see something differently on the cruise. What would yeah. you have them right do? Right in the center. Um, I would make them. Hmm. Right there. That's a good question. There. On the cruise ship. Yeah, right there, buddy. You did good. I wish you guys could see. Can you point the camera down so they can see what you guys are doing? Oh, we can show that we were yeah. this far. Oh, everybody says it's time for you to dance. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, buddy. Put that do one on the, the table um, here. Do the Wednesday the dance. Little, the little squid dance. Yeah, do That's it. You one. have to stand up and do it. Hold on. I'm busy building the Lego. If you guys keep donating up to 6000 maybe what I'll is? stand up and do it. Put it right here on the top. I don't think Linda said, how does or will Disney's restriction of vloggers affect you guys? I don't think they are doing that. Is that a thing? I think there was a talk of it in Tokyo. But it wasn't even really like they were just it was because there's that guy who only does Tokyo. Ooh, yeah. He OK. And he was saying that he's fine. Yeah. He was like, I guess people were saying that it was basically um, if you're if you're like if you're obstructing somebody else's like view or like ruining their time at the park put it right on that but that's not really what vloggers do hold on i'm gonna look at it really quick i mean i i don't know i guess some do but yeah put um, it on top there buddy the, the, tokyo already has so many rules in place so that you you can't do that so like you can't film on the rides you have to take off your ears when you're on the rides when you're watching hey, the parade when you're watching the fireworks there are so many things that they put have right you the do so that everybody right has um 
you know, uh, okay. the same, not the same, but like a good job. So you're not ruining somebody's view of the attraction or, uh, sorry, I'm trying to read all the comments and answer at the same time. And I'm right apparently here. not very good at that. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, there's, they have so many rules in place already that kind Time of stop people from doing things that would obstruct somebody's view or obstruct them from having a Push good time. On. Push on it. Oh, Good Sully job. said there's bloggers that like to catch the characters mess up. And I think that's part of like this like TikTok this kind of culture here? is um put it in there. I don't know. That's just part of like like watching people do yes. something wrong right on right on there. accident yeah, or right on purpose there. is like gets views for whatever reason. So, I don't I think the only way around that is to like stop watching it. <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know. But but back to Publix. <laughs> oh, no. oh, but back to Publix. Sweet Carolina girl says, back to Publix. You could do a home blog trying everyone's suggestions. Uh, yeah. That sounds we awesome. We actually found a bag. So we have some friends, um, the Holy Moly, our friend Chris Pratt. They live in Canada and they sent us um, mm -hmm. some Canadian like snacks and treats that are very, very Canadian, like iconic Canadian things. And we forgot that we had Hold them. On. And now we're going to hopefully do a video trying them. Um, Gotta say though, like, yeah, I'll try your suggestions from Publix. Where's the other wheel? Right there. Everybody's telling you it's time to dance. Oh, well then you should dance. No, you. I never agreed to this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll get up and do a little dance. Will you put it on here? Oh, Jody said the rumor is that the reservation system will be changed or gone in 2023. I hope so. Um, I agree. I hope that they at least change it if they can't get rid of it i hope they at least change it but also um i i guess when they did that call the, like internal call with bob Iger, he didn't really answer a lot of those questions he kind of like sort of gave like half answers so who knows what will happen you want to hold it up and show what you did buddy oh yeah you want to show them your plane where's the other part oh yeah wait daddy's doing his dance Should we do a dance this i'm gonna dance like jackson where he oh. goes he likes to kick his feet up. That is such a dance. That's like daddy's dancing like you. Look, look at daddy's dance. It's just like you. He doesn't care. He only cares about his Lego. Is that funny, buddy? I like how there's no music. <laughs> like <laughs> this is literally so unhinged. <laughs> oh. Um, Amanda, Amanda, he did say that he's never used the reservation system, which I thought was so, like. It makes me wonder, is he a real Disney fan? I don't think he was ever a Disney fan. He was just a businessman. But do you have to be like, you? shouldn't you go to the park that you... He's been to the park, but he's never had to use the reservation system. Was he not in charge when everything first happened? No, I don't think he was. Was he not? I, I don't know. Oh. Where's the four wheels at this one? It just has two. Planes have two wheels. Why no, do they no, have two? That's just the way that this one so is. So wait, where are we at as far as the donations go? 53. You guys, that's amazing. So just from these donations alone, we've actually made 10,600 because they do have a um, a donor who's matching all donations today. So that's amazing. Uh, Ordinary Ventures said, I'm guessing he has a special pass, which gets him in without reserve. And I, I thought the same thing. Yeah, figured, it's called his his ID. Yeah, <laughs> like, but like he should, you should have to use the thing that you've implemented. Right. Like to make sure that it, like, wouldn't you want to know? That's what I'm saying is maybe he didn't implement it. I don't know. Hmm. I thought that it was, so far that's two wishes granted. That's, yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Um, Gray Rose Adventures says that Tim and Adam need to start a separate channel where they just walk around the parks being silly. Oh. I think that that's kind of like that when when they hang out together, like because we each put up videos. Yeah. And I think that they're the thing that I like about filming with Adam is that I know they're totally different videos. Yeah. Like there are times where people will vlog, like vloggers will do things together, and you have to pick whose video you watch because you know that it's just going to be the exact same thing, just two times. So, but the thing with you guys is that i they're always different yeah like adam shows completely different things than you do and you know what i mean so i, I do like that yeah uh 
do we actually believe that Bob Chapek ever tries to use the reservation system or Genie Plus in the parks for real? No, no. I, mean, I don't. I no. <laughs> Let me ask everybody in yeah, the chat like, something. How did he show his face in the parks? Like they hated him when he was like in. No, remember he went and he saw. He was at the and return he, of that parade. What was the parade? The magic. The magic happens, happens parade. Didn't they hate him then? No, people were like taking photos with him. Okay. Well, that doesn't mean that they. Don't they did hate him, but yeah, nobody right. said anything to him. Huh, I thought he got booed. No, Hi. He, never, he Boo never got this man. booed. Everybody's, you know who got booed? Josh Tomorrow got booed when he mentioned uh, Zootopia and Animal Kingdom. Remember that? I was oh, at D23 in, in Expo. Your, in the video. And there's this just guy, guy stood up behind me and yelled boo. And I thought, I, I'm watching, I'm editing the video, and I'm like, did Tim boo? I was so confused. I didn't boo. No. Somebody behind me. <laughs> but... Um, Alex has a good point. I don't really think he can make the time to do those things. 100% they have a huge team in development who have tested and tested. But you should make the time. You're the CEO. Yeah. Like, do the go make the time, go but into the park and do the thing. he's also not the CEO of parks. But, like... He is, he's the CEO of the Walt Disney Company. That's right. And I know parks is not a, is a small part of the company. I get that. I don't know. But I just... I feel like there's so much... Um, talk, like... Oh uh, yeah, it did. It did. Uh oh, Whoa, buddy. Should, buddy! Does your plane need gas? This was your very first Lego build. You built the whole thing. You built the entire thing. Wow, bud. Good job, buddy. That's really good. One extra piece. Put it right here on this one. Disney fanatic said, "I agree. Act like a guest, and maybe you'll see what we experience." I agree. I think that that's yeah, that's just smart. Well, so Katie said, "How much did he make yearly? It had to be millions." I read back. When during the pandemic, he bought like a twenty million dollar compound, like this huge house. So it has to be tens of millions, right? No. Why? I mean, if you have a mortgage and you're buying a twenty million dollar house, what is that per month? You just got to make that. <laughs> That's a lot of money. I don't know. Right? Um, I mean, if you're smart, you would. You would. I don't know. You know, if Maybe. you're making, if you're making a cool five million a year. Yeah. I think you could afford a twenty million dollar house with a mortgage. That just seems like bad financial planning. To yeah, me. well, that's the idea is that most people that are buying million dollar plus houses aren't using yeah uh, mortgages or whatever. Hmm. That's what they always say on million dollar listing, at least. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, those people always pay in cash. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Um, oh, Shanna, that's a good question. Uh -oh. They asked, will you get another necklace with the baby's name? So I found another company that makes them where you can do two two names on a paperclip chain um and i want to get that paperclip chain yeah so i'll have both names uh Ooh, tala said have you watched the new strange world the new disney film oh no not yet it's not on streaming yet is it no but it was i didn't even know that it went to theaters that's literally everybody in the world i know i was reading about it on twitter and everybody's like this movie did horrible and i i thought i'm like how did it do horrible it's not even out yet but it's out in theaters. Yeah. I thought it was just to streaming. Right. I was so confused. I think it sounds... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We need to take care of something here. Oh, no. Oh, okay. But do you want me to take them? Uh, well, I think we're probably done, right? We've been live for how long? Um, for... Where does it say? Oh, an hour. Yeah. I think yeah, we're... well, probably because I want to go and open presents with Jackson. So like we said earlier in the video, it is Jackson's birthday. We want to go open up some, um, <laughs> we want to go open up his birthday presents with him. And we're going to actually have that vlog. If you're interested in seeing like all of the things that we did for his birthday, that vlog will be out soon. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming and for donating. And um, Oh, I have no idea what I was going to ask the chat. I think I said, let me ask you guys something, and then I didn't ask. Oh, shoot. Sorry. That's okay. No worries. Happy birthday, Jackson. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, buddy. Um, thank, thank you guys, guys for so coming much. and donating. Oh, also, um, really quick, Peter had a birthday oh, wow. really recently, too. Oh, happy birthday, Peter. Oh, like, wow. recently, probably like a month ago, but happy birthday. We hope you had a great day. And yeah, yeah, we're going to we open will. all we're gonna your presents. We're going to go right now, buddy, okay? So, um, thank you guys for coming. Thank you, everyone, for coming. And thank you for donating. Give Kids the World. Please look it up and just learn more about them if you're interested. They do really great work. And uh, we just want to be able to help more kids um, be able to have their best week in Orlando. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. But we'll see you soon with another live show. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Have thank a you. great day.
Happy birthday, Jackson. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs>